we will start with the president of CLI, Professor E.V. Ramakrishnan. I will request Professor Ramakrishnan to formally welcome the speakers to this session. Uddhapak E.V. Ramakrishnan, Shagoto Janaben Bhakta Derak. Professor E.V. R. Sir. Uh, thank you, Shantan. Uh, it's a very important occasion for CLI and also the Department of uh, uh, comparative literature and translation studies of Jadapur University. Uh, as you have already explained, uh, we, we actually need to raise awareness about the indigenous cultures and in, indigenous people. Uh, and we are told across 90 countries, there are more than 500 million indigenous people across the world. And uh, they uh, represent diverse cultures, customs, languages, knowledge systems, which are imperiled by the rampant exploitation of nature, the idea of modernity and globalization. And more important to us, more than 7,000 languages uh, in the world uh, which are spoken by the people of the world. Majority of them are uh, used by the indigenous communities across the world. And most of these languages are under threat. They are endangered. Uh, recently, Professor Ganesh Devi said, every 15 days, a language dies in India. Uh, every 15 days, a language disappears from uh, the face of the earth within India. And uh, the, the kind of uh, threat these communities face in terms of uh, uh, marginalization, in terms of violation of human rights, in terms of denial of just, justice, uh, also uh, actually poses enormous uh, problems for a, a world community uh, which believes in social justice and human rights. So what we are commemorating is not an exotic set of people. What we are commemorating is an integral worldview and integral system of knowledges which can perhaps show us a way out of the crisis uh, we are living today. The pandemic situation has uh, perhaps made us aware of the limitations of the, the unbridled, mindless exploitation of nature. And these are languages, these are communities who have traditionally lived in harmony with the nature and the, the, what actually the environment and ecology and their insights into the way the uh, flora, fauna and the local uh, kind of uh, uh, relationship which actually uh, can ensure survival, all these have become extremely important for our own survival today. So let's not actually feel that we are in any way uh, superior or we have uh, yes, we definitely the people who have higher education or uh, privileges of modernity they may enjoy certain kind of uh, luxuries in today's life but let us remember that all these are at the cost of tremendous denial of such privileges to large number of communities so uh, I am extremely uh, happy to be part of this event today. I welcome uh, the, the uh, various uh, artists, various uh, singers and storytellers who are with us from very important languages like Mizo, uh, Lepcha, Kuruks, Bodo, Karya Sabha, etc. And all these are uh, very rich cultures which have uh, much to offer to contemporary Indian society. 
as uh, a, an association of uh, uh, Indian uh, languages and literatures, Clive has always uh, uh, looked forward to interacting with uh, the diversity of cultures in India. So I welcome all these very important artists, very significant uh, uh, storytellers and singers, and let's actually look forward to a very uh, rich cultural event today. Thank you, and uh, we will begin the program. Shantanda, will you unmute? Uh, we can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Professor Ramakrishnan. Professor Ramakrishnan is, of course, an eminent scholar. Uh, he has done immense amount of work on Indian literature, Indian literary criticisms, and the many texts and traditions that are part and parcel of what we understand to be Indian literature. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we will go on to the first uh, presenter of today's session. We are very, very grateful to uh, Sri Tamsang Liang Song, who today represents Lep Cha. I will briefly introduce him. Uh, Tamsang Liang Song is chairman Maya Liang Lepcha Development Board, and he is a Lepcha language activist. There is an immense amount of work that he has been doing over the last many, many years with uh, propagating the Lepcha language, uh, education in the Lepcha language, and propagation of Lepcha literature and orature and so many, so many other things. He has won many, many awards as recognition for his efforts in this direction. But to us at Jadupur University, he is not Tamsang Liang Song. To us, he is Tamsang Da, because he has become one of our own. He came to Jadupur, he visited us many years back to host, uh, to help us organize what was the very first translation workshop between Lepcha and Bangla, and with his team comprising famous poets uh, and figures like, uh, I think there were many of them, Norbu Chiring, uh, uh, Pasang Chiring, uh, Lepcha Ji was there. I think there were four or five of us. And together, along with our students, they translated into Bangla a corpus of Lepcha folk tales and folk songs, which were later published by the Saitya Academy. So to us, he is Tamsangda, and I will request Tamsangda to make his presentation now. Uh, I think you are on mute, Tamsangda. Yes. Uh, no. Is it coming now? Yes, yes, Thank we can hear much. you. Now. Thank you. Oh, be the thing. Um, Kamrimo. Kamrimo in lecture means greetings to you all. And of course, today is we are commem commemorating the International Indigenous Peoples Day. And I think it's a lovely day today. And thank you very much indeed for inviting the lectures. Um, first of all, I think uh, we, the lectures, believe that our first man, Pudong King, and the first woman, Najong Nu, were created on the top of Mount, uh, of, uh, from the pinnacle of uh, Mount Kanchanjanga. And uh, of course, uh, we, the Chas, live at the foothills of the southern foothills of Mount Kanchanjanga. And we also believe that when we die, we, our souls, will return to Mount Kanchanjanga, the Himalayas. So the relation between the Himalayas, Mount Kanchanjanga, and us is very, very deep indeed, and it is 
very, 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 very old indeed. And uh, of course, uh, uh, as I said, that uh, the relation between the Himalayas and us uh, is so great that Manjanga is uh, considered our principal deity we worship it and uh, uh, the we worship it in the form of churampak in lepcha churampak it does mean that offering of prayers and ovations to the himalayas and perhaps uh, because of the time uh, constraint uh, you will love to listen to the lecture prayers and ovations to the Himalayas. And uh, this is really an old, old lecture song, indigenous one. Please enjoy the lecture folk song. <laughs> Translation in English translation is it goes like this Oh, the golden Himalayas, oh, the silver Himalayas, oh, the creator of land and water, oh, the genesis of stars. Here I stand and offer Chi, the holy fermented beer. I'm standing and offering Song Pul, the silver incense, to you all. Oh, King Chung Jongbu. That auspicious forest mountain, the mighty Kanchenjunga, you enlighten us 
you shelter and protect us like a mother on your lap. I humbly offer my prayers to you with folded hands. O oh, Mount Pandim and Mount Gronka, standing majestically at our front, bringing peace and tranquility to us, I bow to you both with my folded hands. O oh, the God of Himalayas, O oh, the God of Lepcha, source and origin, O oh, cliff, O oh, hills, O oh, mountains, I am offering my prayers to you with burning incense. O oh, the golden Himalayas, the God of prosperity, residing on the altar of the snowy palace, I'm offering my prayers to you with my folded hands, with rows of burning lamps and incense at your lap. O oh, the golden Himalayas, O oh, the silver Himalayas. So that is the translation of this uh, prayer song uh, my, my, my young children presented to you. I, if you have time, I wish to present one brief, small uh, lecture song. I'll do it myself. And by the way, I'm not a singer, but I think this is very relevant to this program. Therefore, uh, this is, uh, we call it a prayer poem, and it is spontaneous. I will compose at the same time sing. So that kind of culture we have, it is really, really old, old and uh, rich culture. But like you said, uh, uh, the presidents are, that it, is, it has not been exposed. I think it is our duty, yours, mine, to expose it so that the world can learn how rich our languages, our cultures are. So briefly, uh, the, we call it a and uh, um, this is, is a brief one. Achule to be contena dina ni rezong e yong rangit e sandani rezong e yong. Achule is a niso wrong e pena alupa e long international indigenous peoples a saknim imba e yong achule jadapar university anka akle domaka kayu mutanji wrong Achule Limoyon. So I was saying, like the Himalayas standing strong and firm, like the two, the meeting of the two rivers, Tista and Rangit. Today is a lovely day indeed because it is the International uh, People's Day commemorating. And of course, we are very, we the lectures are very thankful to Jagadpur University. We are thankful to Clay and our Achille to you all. Achille means hail to the Himalayas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Tamsangda. Tamsangda. লেপচা ভাষার প্রতিনিধি হিসেবে দুটি গান আমাদের সামনে পেশ করেছেন এবার উত্তরবঙ্গ থেকে লেপচা থেকে আমরা চলে আসছি বড় ভাষায় উই মুভ অন টু দি বড় ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এন্ড দ্য বড় ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইজ অফ কোর্স সিনো টিবেটান ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ উই আর অ্যাওয়ার অফ ইট উই হ্যাভ প্রফেসর আদার আমবা সুমাতারি হু টিচেস ইন জনতা কলেজ Serfanguri Kokrajhar and Adaramda will be talking to us about uh, uh, Boro language and he will be presenting a poem. Adaramda once again has been very uh, uh, prolific at the forefront of language activism for Boro. Uh, he's a writer himself, he translates, he has been pioneering this translation of Boro short stories into English and Bangla 
which I think the Asiatic Society is publishing quite soon. So we will look forward to that. Over to you, Adaramda. So, Namaskar, Kulumbai. So, <clears throat> I am Adaram Bosumatari representing the Bodo language, which is spoken by Bodo community residing in mostly in Assam and other northeastern states, including West Bengal, and uh, which is spoken in other countries, foreign countries like Bangladesh and Nepal. Anyway, the Bodo language was uh, spoken in some small areas earlier and it has so many dialects but after the written literature was originated uh, some hundred years ago this unification of uh, original languages i mean it's dialects of the both those uh, have uh, now standard border language it is introduced as medium of instruction in the year 1963 and now this language is taught in the university le university level in five five universities in Assam. That is Bodoland University, Kokraja, Guwahati University, Koton University, Guwahati, uh, Assam University, Shilshore, Dibrugor University, Dibrugor. Five universities, and one more university is going to introduce each uh, subject. That is uh, Madhav Dev University, Nalbari. Anyway, <coughs> this language has uh, created so many writers of the, of the language. And uh, I, I feel proud of myself to be one of the speakers of this language. I feel proud of it because uh, it is a tonal language and uh, we like to speak and whenever it, it is sung in this language, it hears very sweet. And uh, <coughs> this language now is one of the official language in Assam since some years ago and uh, many in many areas, the, this language has become a link language of the Bodo and non Bodo speakers, basically the Bengali people, Assamese people, because uh, it, it is needless to speak that Bengali community are uh, engaged themselves in commercial matters and so as to harvest these commercial activities from these Bodo people, many Bengali businessmen try to speak in Bodo. Anyway, this <coughs> language, uh, Bodo language has literature in different genres like poetry, drama, novel, and short story, and biography, and others. And as uh, Swainton Dasgupta knows it very well that uh, Bodo language, Bodo, we Bodo people uh, give more emphasis on translation works because nowadays translation or comparative literacy each has much more importance in uplifting the uh, language or literature of a particular language. And it is this uh, comparative literature, I mean this translation language, translation literature has much more to do for unification of uh, unification between or amongst different people uh, identifying to different communities and cultural identities. So now I'm going to recite one poem written by uh, Modaram Brahma. Modram Brahma was born in 1901 at Kokrajar. He graduated at that time and he worked as a uh, SCH officer, Assam Civil Service uh, in Assam. He works as a BDO, Block Development Officer. He worked a lot 
for the development of the borough language and literature. And in 1988, this Madhuram Brahma was awarded Padmasri uh, by the Gov of India in 1988. So uh, I feel proud to recite his uh, poem. This poem was written in 1926. And the name, name of the book uh, is Boroni Guli Sipsa Ar Aros. Let me recite. <coughs> Batuwa Sur Buri. Uh, there is conversation between wife and husband. Wife is asking and husband is giving reply. Buri. Dine Angzang Gusua Mama Zadem Shuami. Sungnulukwe <coughs> 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 A shake of Oza by Consessible Manus Hungary. A shake of Makoto Kuluma, she do be pancona. Now Banduba do my corner. Ha ha ha. Bully. Damini say hi, Shuami, a shake up money. Numbunga busy sergeant, Judan. But I. Nay, 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 nay. Bobby Koba, home lie by. Ha. Bully. Bully. The high show me can tade and the ponche, Jung Sir Coculum Nango, Sungbala Maba Burayabu had a de Burai Buria Buri so by Kari, Bijini Katago Psaya, Psaini Katago Bijia, Michinango Angi Buri, Ma Michir Buri Sona, Bungla Batua Banduba, Siova Goromba Buri Zane Swami Manizaka. Angbe sane hura hura, mane banduba bandubri, mane zane haya. Gusur kangane batua, batoko hura hura, sane an. Burai. Sanani ma munker? Buri. Uya, san blabber sanso haya. Burai. Nuni mudo mama, mudo mo mama dong. San my shang beer majung zadan. Bong pang lai pang zebel zirajan. Be Muluga Bungani Tong Sir Bipurko Surgidan, Sir Bipurko Kanjaiden, Bung Sona, Beperno Mama Tong, Mabri Tangani Tong, Mako Homden, Mako Hastiden, Buri Ha ha ha, Shuami, Baudig Shua, Baugarden Angbu Barnumabla Zeng Tangu Haya, Bong Pang Lai Pang Abu Zaden. Burai Ladung to Buri Mabrita Jung Hang Hogar Naiko Bong Pong Lai Punga Sub Nani Ladung Besur Hogar Pin Naiko Jung Boy Bunani Ladung Buri Mabri Michina Jung Jung Ni Hanko Besur Ladung Burai Then An Michigan Nui Biko Natai Jung Hang Lanaya Boha Tangu Suni Ni Dei Gujangao Pugani Barko Subla Nang Manu Gubung Nezayan Buri Labaida Ang Nongkong Nongbono Nani Burai Bemulukne Pais of Benjebe Gumalangani Gundaya Bubiba Gundajan Gumalangajan Dangram Brabu Guyamana. Now let me go to the English translation of the same poem. The God, the visible, God, the invisible. <coughs> Has, uh, wife. Husband, husband, you say, you say, God, whom we all call Father, God is visible and invisible by us all. I doubt the truth of what you say. If God is visible, if he is seen by our eyes, 
Where does he live then? I cannot see him. No as is dear in me to worship him. As I have not seen him yet, no, God is dear, I think. If he is, tell me, husband, why is me? Husband, what? What are you seeing? Who has told you there is no God? Think about who has created the soil. Tell me by whom trees, plants, cows, birds, and all human beings created. Tell me, dear, how all is possible. Sun shining everywhere, moon beaming all over, stars twinkling in pasture without him, without him. Why? Seeds beget trees, birds are born of eggs, cattle out of arm, are not they born thus necessarily? Husband, none can create anything anew. Man thinks to create good things, but he holds when goes to create. None can make anything anew upon the dead child mother weeps. Why are tears shed if one can give new lease of life? If, you know, if one can create anew, there is someone, the greatest, there is someone, the strongest, blows the wind at his word, acknowledges with, uh, with this inwardly, wherever we look at, we see his power, we find his orderliness everywhere, anywhere we look it. Wife, oh husband, dear, Known I have, there is God. Known also I have, everything is possible because of Him. Everything belongs to Him, but alas, we know not where He lives. Husband, look, dear wife, what's that? Wife, it is Son. Husband, look there, what's that? Why? It is big river. Husband, look at every direction. What do you see? Why? I I see variety of things. Husband, I must. You will be a while. Why? Yes, husband. I must. Am I? Why, husband? Have you no, known now who is God? Why? Oh, all food, our sun, river, and whatever I see is God Himself. Well, husband, you are fool. They are His reflection. The shining image of God is seen through all these creations. Why? If they are His, tell me, husband, then where does He stay? Husband, touch your mind, think where does it stay? Think of his and your mind, think of cattle, dog fix and all, feel love and pain, tears, think then who weaves and who reels in pain and distress. Seated is he in the hearts of all in the form of love, fame, tear, and all. Why? Husband. Oh, my dear husband. I cannot fathom the depth. Husband. Why, dear? Ting and ting every day to know him. Our father is not easy. This is the end of this poem. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Adaramda. Uh, very interesting to see the diversity between the different texts and different tradi uh, traditions that will be presented here. We move on now. Amra pahar theke shamotale chole ashi. 
uh, we come down to uh, uh, Pushchimbongo Kheria Shabor Kollan Shomitir uh, Puri Chaluna Koren Prashantoda Sri Prashantoda Khit Ebon Shampadok Pashochib Pushchimbongo Kheria Shabor Kollan uh, Shomitir Jalodharda Jalodhar Shabor Ora Dujoni Amadish Shonge Aachin There is so much of work that they do with respect to the Kheria Shabor community, the Shabor language. We will look forward to learning from them, hearing from them about the Shabor language. Prashantoda, Jalodharda. Hello. 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 So Hello. Hey, listen to me, Chiamra. Mother, listen to me. Sabor Basai. Moi Khaja Basai, ekta sadhik Bharat ni gith kai surati. Amna ki sadhik Bharat e sadhik nahi keno. Amna ki sadhik Bharat e sadhik nahi keno. Pete dui veda madanai patno. Pete dui veda mantuku nai patno. Amna ki sadhik Bharat e sadhik nahi keno. Amanaki Sabini Haro de Sabini Hino Pepe Duibera Mantukunai Patmo Pepe Duibera Mantukunai Patmo O Sabini Haro de Sabini Haro Buni Bukta Kunai Buni Tino Sabini Haro de Sabini Haro Muni Mukta Kunai Gumitino Okor Jalai Tore Tore Petrakaturi Ruhitino Okor Jalai Tore Tore Petrakaturi Ruhitino Amanaki Sadini Barote Sadini Gino Amanaki Sadini Barote Sadini Gino Pete duivera mantuku nai patnu. Pete duivera mantuku nai patnu. Oi sadini vara da sadini vara da buni. Sadini vara da sadini vara da buni. Buktaku nai buni tenu. Sadini vara da sadini vara da buni. Oi Mukta Kunai Gumi Dino Okor Jalai Tore Tore Petagaturi Ruhitimu Okor Jalai Tore Tore Petagaturi Ruhitimu Amnaki Sadini Barote Sadini Gino Amnaki Sadini Barote Sadini Gino Pepe duivera mantuku nai patnu. Pepe duivera mantuku nai patnu. Amorote amorohabe. Amorote amorohabe. E puru ya gore no. Amorote amorohabe. E puru ya gore no. Uthir hu ana yudi yuga ke babu kuni dinu. Uthir hu ana yudi yuga ke babu kuni dinu. Amna ke sadini Bharat sadini gino. Amna ke sadini Bharat sadini gino. Pepe duivera mantuku nai patnu. 
পেটে দুই বেলা মাত্র নাই পাতনু ওই জল ধরে খাজা সবর বুঝি বুঝি তিনু জল ধরে খাজা সবর বুঝি বুঝি তিনু ওই আগ্রহীতে কেনা কালা তুন রুহি তো বোকাহিত আগ্রহীতে কেনা কালা তুন রুহি তো বোকাহিত ওই হাম না কে স্বাধীন ভারতে স্বাধীন হয়ে গেলু হাম না কে স্বাধীন ভারতে স্বাধীন হয়ে গেলু পেট হে দুই বেড়া মানুষ কু নাই পাতলু পেট হে দুই বেড়া মানুষ কু নাই পাতলু নমস্কার জোহার আই ট্রান্সলেট দিস সং ভারত ইজ ফ্রি ভারত গড ফ্রিডম উই স্টিল গেট টু মিলস ফ্রিডম ফ্রি ভারত ফ্রি ভারত উই ফিল প্রাউড হাংরি উই আর হাংরি ইজ সো লাউড আওয়ার টয়েল আওয়ার সুইট পুরুলিয়া উই বিল স্ট্রেঞ্জার্স দেয়ার কলিং বাবু ইজ এ গিল্ট জলধর সেজ খেড়িয়া সবর ইউ আর টু টিম Don't dip nor dam, open your eyes, view it. Now I am uh, telling some about our Sabors. The Sabors are aboriginal tribes who live mainly in West Bengal, Odisha and Dharkar. During the colonial period, Sabors were classed as criminal tribes under the Criminal Tribes Act 1871. And they suffer from social stigma and ostracism in modern times. They belong to the Munda ethnic group, one of the oldest ethnic tribes of India. From an anthropological point of view, Sabor is a tribe of the proto australoid group. Socioeconomically, the Sabor are one of the poorest most deprived and most backward tribal communities in the state. Linguistically, Sabor is one of the most endangered languages in the world. It has neither a script nor a text. The language has only the spoken form. Many words from other languages like Hindi, Odia, Bengali, etc. already influence this ancient language to a good extent. While it is a natural phenomenon for a language to flow, it is equally important to preserve the original words, the traditional words they speak should not be replaced by foreign ones. It can coexist at most. The new generation has a tendency to imbibe foreign language as well as culture. A written form of the language will enable instilling the ownership to protect the language to the community from childhood. With the Samiti's trust on, let us go to school. We will better teach their own language if a script is in its incubation state now. The director of the Samiti has been relentlessly trying to formulate ways to prevent the language from extinction. Sabor Loko Gan, Loko Kotha, a book on Sabor folk songs and folk tales was published by Saitya Academy in 2013. The book was edited by Marsheta Devi and written by Prashanto Rukhi. Gitor Ajuda, 
the translation of the rabindranath tagore gitanjali in sabar language by prashanto rokit and janadar sabar and published by vishwabharati gonthan vibhag is another milestone achievement for the community sabar bhasha obidan written by prashanto rokit released in 2006 has created a reliable platform to being with a strip is in its formative state now there is an opportunity for a scholar in linguistics to give it a final set whoever comes forward and assumes the owners will certainly create a history thank you johar and dr অনেক ধন্যবাদ প্রশান্ত দা জলধর দা আমরা এরপরে চলে যাব প্রফেসর চন্দ্রমোহনের কাছে উই আর ভেরি গ্রেটফুল টু ক্লাই ফর কোলাবরেটিং উইথ আস অন দিস ইভেন্ট অ্যান্ড উই উইল রিকোয়েস্ট প্রফেসর চন্দ্রমোহন টু সে আ ফিউ ওয়ার্ডস মেক আ ভেরি ব্রিফ প্রেজেন্টেশন বিকজ উই আর রানিং ভেরি ভেরি লেট অ্যাজ অল অফ ইউ নো অ্যান্ড আফটার প্রফেসর চন্দ্রমোহন উই উইল হ্যাভ বিমল দা বিমল কুমার টপ্প কুরুক ভাষা থেকে উনি বলবেন প্রথমে প্রফেসর চন্দ্রমোহনকে আমি ডেকে নেব প্রফেসর চন্দ্রমোহন স্যার আই উদের প্লিজ বিগিন নো ইউ হ্যাভ গন অন মিউট এগেন now it's okay yes now it's okay yes yes okay. so i will take 5 uh, to 7 minutes uh, although my paper was longish but uh, i think uh, we have to obey the rules now professor uh, ev ramakrishnan sir uh, shantan das gupta my dear not only younger but a erudite personality here who has connected all these things this is marvelous it is a, a very delightful combination of uh, so many vibrancies there and i really uh, con- congratulate you for all this now what i want to do is a uh, my uh, uh, not only congratulations but also uh, uh, on this historic day i would like to uh, raise my voice in favor of uh, awareness to protect the rights of the world which has been the uh, order of the day in so many speeches which i have read on this day since 9th august now uh, what i want to do here is that first is that to look uh, if we are sub when i looked at this uh, thing which has been going on here and i was really touched by the sameness which is prevailing in our own languages in uh, say in indian languages for instance recently i composed a poetry on corona this is called corona poetry and i found the song which uh, tamsang has uh, just sang his children have sang and similarly uh, the voices which have come from purulia and others they are all the same and uh, look uh, let me tell you since it is we are dealing with poetry so let me tell you how it is happening now the <coughs> magnificence of uh, himalaya which uh, tamsang has uh, said and also Uh, given emotional speeches to that it is like this in the voice of uh, dr karan singh a soulful prayer listen oh listen to me lord shiva i bow before the grant me a vision of your form today darkness threatens to engulf me on all sides light the candle of faith in my heart oh lord oh lord shiva oh himalaya Now this is uh, 
something which I was very much touched to see how it has the similarity with the song uh, which was sung by the children of uh, Tamsal. Now the other one is uh, a, a four lines which I have picked up from Sanjukta Das Gupta's poem. Now she says, O Besak, purge and purify the ailing earth. Let the fierce blazing sun scorch the demons of the uh, death. So this is another very, very, uh, uh, what we call a resilience kind of situation, which is coming out of it. When I was analyzing the things which have been said earlier, I found that uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the poetry uh, which has been just rendered, there are five, six, seven uh, kinds of this uh, uh, card. I will call it cardinal points of the poetry wisdom of uh, Indian uh, psyche, and they are coming here as spirituality. And then there is a friendship, there is alignment, there is a humanization, and there is also at the same time human wisdom with which the, the poetry, particularly the Bodo poetry, another thing that spread up. Environment uh, and languages are all possessing the very deep effect on them. Now, this is all about uh, a very stray kind of a comparison, which I thought I should point it out along with the, the Indian uh, languages. But at the same time, I would like to say, since I have been teaching uh, this literature with the, the, when, along with my, say, being holding the position of uh, Canadian literature and also Indian literature, and all these things have come to me in a very, very a radical way. Now, I would like before, I think it will be my duty to tell that these days, uh, what is happening to the international arena? In the international arena, the, uh, the main situation is coming and uh, the short time allotted to me doesn't permit me to go into to details but I would like to highlight some of the most important and worth noting aspects of words in the genius people which are now being described as belonging to the fourth world. Now you will be surprised to know how does the fourth world comes. It comes from the international experience and I explain it like this. The term first world, second world, third world, have been used originally to divide the world's nations into three categories which are studied from economic point of view. Now I would like to refer to the coinage of uh, this uh, word which is called uh, the world fourth world. Now this was coined by George Manuel when I was there in Canada listening to him and he was uh, saying that fourth world means not only the poorest or the underprivileged state, but internationally unrecognized states that are engaged in a struggle to maintain the gain to some extent coming to that degree. And he music that I, I put some of try to sum it up and in this way. To, in order to define a uh, fourth world for those who would like to know what is coming in this. And I explain it like this. The fourth world embraces all nations of under 12 million inhabitants, groups working for their autonomy and independence at all levels from the neighborhood to the nation. Minority groups, whether ethnic, linguistic, cultural, or religious, or those in the fields of peace, action, ecology, economics, energy, 
resources, women's liberation, and the a whole spectrum of the alternative movements who are struggling against the gigantic situation of non-centralized, multicellular, power dispersed, world over situation. This is the crux of this thing. Now here I would like to give an example that how not only, not I don't think it, it can happen in India, but it has happened elsewhere in North America. And the example which I'm going to give you is, this is called, this is a situation of Nunavut. In Nunavut, it is a very radical situation and very marvelous situation that has happened. Nunavut has been created as an as a state, self-governance state, on democratic lines, and it is in the deep north uh, of uh, uh, Canada that was Tundra placed earlier, but now it has become a territory where, which, has, which is completely self-governed by the aboriginals. There is no interference, uh, and this could happen only because they could aim at having self-governance of its own situations. We can in our country also do like this, but uh, this is an example which uh, must be quoted and which must be remembered if we are going to have uh, our own uh, governance and also going towards that. Now, Nunavut has its own languages, its Cree, it has its own university, uh, which is called Nunavut University. It has its own premier, it has its own area, it has its own uh, uh, capital, it has its own uh, uh, connection with the central government of Canada. The point which I'm making is that in this situation, when we are thinking of having self-governance, we also at the same time trying to do it in our own way. I don't know how much time do I have. Uh, <laughs> बस दस मिनट तो हो गया थोड़ा एक मिनट में अगर कंक्लूड कर दे हो गया हो गया आयुर्वेद जस्ट जस्ट टेल मी वन मिनट वन मिनट आई विल टेक दैट दिस ऑल एबोरिजिनल इंडिजिनियस लिटरेचर इज रियली वेरी वेरी रिच विद लिटरेरी नेस आई कांट इट डिमांड्स अनदर पेपर but uh, it is very much there and we can do it later on when we are invited to a bigger seminar. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Syantan, and also thank you very much, uh, Ramakishan Sahib, and also other people. Shukriya, sir. I am going to ask a question समय का तो पाबंदी है यहाँ पे तो इसीलिए थैंक यू वेरी मच तो हम चले जाते हैं अभी बिमलदा के पास बिमल कुमार टोप्पो जी कुरुक भाषा के इज अ वेरी वेल नोन सीनियर राइटर और उनके एक कहानी उनके एक्चुअली क्लाई के साथ एक तालुकात है उनके एक कहानी वो अंग्रेजी में अनुवाद हुई थी अंग्रेजी में वो था द ब्रोकन प्लेट तो ये कहानी क्लाई का जो वेब जर्नल है साहित्य उसमें काफी आ, समय पहले इट हैड बीन पब्लिश्ड तो बिमलदा अपनी जो दी ए बार बोलें धन्यवाद सर सबको नमस्कार तो मैं अपने कुरुक भाषा के संबंध में हमने अपनी जात के विषय में थोड़ा सा बताना चाहता हूँ हम उराव की कुरुक भाषा सुनाई दे रही है सर सुनाई दे रही है हाँ सर सुनाई दे रहा है अच्छा ठीक अच्छा ठीक तो हम लोगों के उराव की कुरुक भाषा और कुरुक भाषा बोलने वाले उराव की संख्या बहुत ही ज्यादा है मूलतः हम लोग झारखंड मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ उड़ीसा इधर तो है ही वो तो हम लोग का पौराणिक अपना देश है इसके अतिरिक्त भी हम लोग नॉर्थ ईस्ट में जैसे हम लोग आसाम में है 
बंगाल में है हमारे इधर कुछ भूटान में भी है नेपाल में है बांग्लादेश में है त्रिपुरा में है और सुना जाता है मॉरिशस में भी है तो हम लोग की जो भाषा है उड़क भाषा है वो बहुत मतलब कि मिशनरी लोग थे इसलिए उन्होंने कुछ कुछ सृजन किया था साहित्य का लेकिन अभी इस जमाने में साहित्य के कुछ वृद्धि हो रही है आज के जो नए शिक्षित वर्ग हैं वो लोग अभी कुड़क भाषा और कुड़क साहित्य और कुड़क संस्कृति के ऊपर वो लोग काफी ध्यान दे रहे हैं तो मैं यहाँ पर कविता एक पढ़ना चाहता हूँ कुड़क में है साधारण हम लोग तो इधर बंगाल में तो बसंत उत्सव कहते हैं हम लोग मैंने इसे हम लोग खद्दी कहते हैं खद्दी और सादरी भाषा में इसको सरुल भी कहा जाता है तो खद्दी का मौसम आता है उसको हम कैसे जान पाते हैं और मौसम आ जाने के बाद हम लोग क्या करते हैं उसके संबंध में जरा सा चौदह पंद्रह लाइन की पंक्ति की कविता है मैं पहले कविता को कुड़क में पढ़ करके बताता हूँ उसके बाद संक्षिप्त में अब हिंदी में इसका अनुवाद करूंगा पैया नो ममता अथखा निधगी टोरंग सुना मनी फग्गू नो फग्गू से नरा कानर पद्दा सुना मनी मन मास खोरी टोरंग झबरारी हद्दी बेचा के पेलो जिया सपरारी बगीचा नो कुहू चीखी टटका मंजरारी एड़पा नो पुना पेलो नौर पुपन मंजरारी ताका तागरी कदाओ गमकारी मंजर मदगी ही पूप नो मिंदरी भौरो ही गुंजर पूप राशिन चीपा के टकी पपला उल्ला माखा बीट इड़ा के अड्डा बिद्दी खोता अड्डी ओड़ा खाखा मन्नता अथखा हुरिया के निदगिया निंदिया टुंगरी तस्वीर वाली पूंदा की निदगिया तूली उरखा उड़ियारा पंजा की कोंगा पिछना की किरो इतना के हद्दी किरा बोंगा तो जब मौसम आता है खद्दी का पर्व सरुल का पर्व आता है उसे कैसे जान लेते हैं उनको देखते हैं प्रकृति में क्या परिवर्तन होता है कि झाड़े में पेड़ों के पत्ते सब झड़ जाती हैं तो जंगल सुना हो जाता है फगुन महीना जब पहुंच जाता है तो लोग फग्गू का संद्रा फग्गू के शिकार में चले जाते हैं तो गांव भी सुना हो जाता है तो फगु के बाद यही क्या होता है मन मैंने पेड़ पौधे नए पत्ती आ जाती हैं पेड़ पौधे में तो जंगल हरा भरा हो जाता है जब जंगल हरा भरा हो जाता है तो गांव के लड़के लड़कियां जो रसिक होते हैं वो लोग नाच गान करने के लिए तैयारी करते हैं टाइम हो गया सर समय हो गया सर नहीं नहीं अब बोलिए आप बोलिए अच्छा ठीक है तो जब बगीचे में आम के बगीचे में जब कोयल बोलते हैं तो आम के पेड़ों में मंजर भी आ जाते हैं जब आम के पेड़ों में मंजर आते हैं तो घर के जो युवतियां होती हैं वो साल का फूल लेकर के अपने आप को लोग सिंगार लेते हैं जब हवा बहती है साय साय हवा जब बहती है तब तो आम का जो मंजर होता है वो उसका बिमलदा सुनाई नहीं दे रहा है अभी बिमलदा सुनाई दे रहा है
बिमलदा हमें सुनाई नहीं दे रहा है सुनाई नहीं दे रहा Okay, we will just wait for a minute in case his connection gets back. This is always one of the things uh, we have ah. to be ready for because it keeps happening in such sessions. Vimalda has left the meeting, so I think he'll try to rejoin and continue. Let us just wait for a minute and see if his connection works out. एक मिनट हम इंतजार कर लेते हैं शायद ही इज ट्राइंग टू ज्वाइन सेपरेट हो गया उसका हाँ हाँ कोई बात नहीं आप एक बार प्रयत्न करेंगे चेष्टा करेंगे ज्वाइन करने को वेटिंग फॉर यू हम इंतजार कर रहे हैं he is trying to rejoin so ah. let us just wait a minute no no give him it actually it was uh, uska connection thoda off ho gaya ha ha acha in the meantime uh, let me welcome dr indroni locharya and uh, i think we owe him a big thank you because indroni uh, has helped immensely in helping us uh, put this event together you know in many ways uh this event wouldn't have taken place without his help and his support he has been doing a lot of work um uh, in the field of indigenous languages he runs yes. this journal called uh, janu jati darpon uh so indrunil thank you very much for all your support and thank you for being here thank you thank you shandan uh, for uh, creating this wonderful platform Okay, for the meeting of uh, minds, meeting of languages, particularly of different indigenous communities, uh, and it's really nice, you know, that you could organize you know, such a program uh, during this pandemic. Uh, and, uh, I, I hope that uh, all the authors and writers and performers from different uh, language communities uh, are are really proud you know, to. you know represent themselves uh, in this platform okay, and it's quite necessary you know to hear uh, these voices uh, which have remained mostly unheard you know in the mainstream uh, literary arena so uh, it's really a very laudable effort uh, thank you sir uh, i think bimalda is back bimalda ka aapka mute kiya hua hai aap unmute kijiye fir shayad hame sunai dega बिमलदा वो फिर से म्यूट हो गए हैं हाँ अब कुछ बोलिए मेरे ख्याल से अब आ जाएगा हाँ ठीक है प्लीज कंटिन्यू कीजिए तो ठीक है सर फूलों के रस चूसने के लिए बहुत प्रकार की तितलियां और फूलों के इन्हें मंडराती रहती हैं और पक्षी अंडे देने के लिए घोसला बनाती है जगह खोजती है घोसला भी बनाती है और तो पेड़ों के सारे पत्ते जब अंकुरित हो जाते हैं तो जंगल फिर हरा भरा हो जाता है तो टुंगरी के जो छोटी पहाड़ियां हैं उनके ऊपर कनेक्शन ठीक नहीं बिमल दीक ठीक चलिए 
ठीक उड़ जाती है तब जब मौसम आ जाता है तब वो लोग हमारे हद्दी पर्व मनाने वाले लोग वो लोग को क्या सुनाई देता है जैसे कि टका टुकुन मिंद्रा लगी टूटा ही रागी पिलोज या सपड़ारा लगी हद्दी नाला तो कागी मानी वर्ष या चाय थी महीना आई भैया नित के लिखे इतना अथखा नित गया मन मास कोरिया चंगा के आयम धरती है बीड़े का ने मानो बेंजा पुना खोर कोरिया गोटा धरती हरियारा टोरंग तक किंको रिजते किलकारा खाद्य ने पुना पूप झगड़ारा आयम धरती एका नगर सिंगरारी ओढ़ा ही चिड़गना थी सगरे सुहान मनी एनएम बिजी उल्ला कट्टी खुर्ती मनी इतना का केरा बरसा इसलिए अभी रोड़ी हो रहा है। हाँ से रोड़ी होते हैं। अब वीडियो ऑफ करके भी मत दा। आप वीडियो ऑफ करते हैं। हाँ जी। वो अच्छा रहेगा। हाँ। Please audio यू कीजिए। वीडियो सपोर्ट नहीं कर रहा है लगता है। हाँ। Please try कर लीजिएगा। ठीक है। आप आप continue कीजिए। Okay। हाँ अनम्यूट करना पड़ेगा अभी मालदा म्यूट हो गया है हाँ ठीक है तो ये छोटे-छोटे पहाड़ियाँ में हमारे लोग अखड़ा बनाते हैं तो उसमें टुंटा का जो राग होता है जो लाय मेलोडी दूर से जब गाया जाता है वो सुनाई देता है मालदा के साथ तो लड़कियाँ मैंने महिलाएँ वो लोग मैंने के खद्दी नाच नाचने के लिए तैयार करती हैं तो चैत का महीना आ जाता है तो हर साल की तरह तब वो जब पेड़ों में पत्तियां भर जाती हैं तो लोगों को पता लग जाता है हमारे उराओं को So this was a fascinating account, but I think uh, ah. his internet connection has ah. let him down yeah. once more. So I'm sure he is trying to reconnect. So let us just be a little patient for a minute or so, because uh, he is almost done with his presentation. So if we can just wait a minute or so, if he can rejoin, then he can just complete his presentation. This is always one of the problems of any of these webinars. Yes, Bimalda is with us. Uh, Bimalda, you can the video off and you can hear the audio on, then it will better. Hoga. Bimalda, you are listening? From where is speaking? हाँ हाँ ठीक है ठीक है सर हाँ ठीक है हाँ जब पत्ते जब भर जाते हैं जंगलों में फूल पत्ते से भर जाते हैं तो हमारे उराव लोग उनको मानते हैं कि अब धरती की शादी सूरज भगवान से होने वाली है तो जब पूर्व नए नए वो कोपल निकल आते हैं तो धरती पूरी हरी भरी हो जाती है तो जंगल के जितने भी जीव जंतु हैं सब किलकरिया करना शुरू कर देते हैं खुशी मनाने शुरू कर देते हैं जब नए जब नए नए फूल जब खिलने लगते हैं तो धरती माँ धरती माँ अपने आप को सिंगारती है तो चिड़िया भी कलराव करने लगती है इसी तरह सुबह होता है दिन करते हैं शाम होती है तो इस तरह खाद्य पर्व किसी तरह तो इस साल का तो चला गया लेकिन अगले साल क्या होगा तो इसको हमें भाई लोग भाई बहन कहते हैं कि हम लोग के बीच 
अगर प्यार हो मोहब्बत हो शांति हो भाईचारा हो तो अगले साल भी ये हम लोग हमारा जो पर्व है वो अच्छा ही होगा और हम सब कोई आनंद पूर्वक रह पाएंगे एक कविता है धन्यवाद सर धन्यवाद बीमलदा नाउ वी गो ऑन टू दी होस्ट सो टू स्पीक we have kept the two speakers from the host organization right at the end and we will now have rahi dr rahi soren who will be speaking on santali uh rahi is assistant professor in the school of oceanographic studies at jadavpur university and uh, she teaches oceanography she researches oceanography but she is passionate about santali language and uh, uh, language activism uh so over to you rahi uh th- am i audible yes yes we can yeah, hear you yeah thank you so much uh, shankunda for arranging this uh shanam koge johar greetings to everyone uh i would like to start uh, by giving a small introduction on the poem that i'll be speaking uh yeah so this poem that i have chosen here is uh, from a book called chachu didi which was published in uh, 1982 and uh, it uh, mostly talks about the immense uh, marginalization and uh, discrimination that we all know indigenous people have been facing for generations and are still facing and uh, like uh, many of us agree that uh, it is important for us to learn and learn and of course relearn a lot of indigenous knowledge systems uh, as well as respect the customs and uh, perhaps uh, not try and categorize as backward and primitive as, as most colonial studies tell us so well without any further ado i am reciting the santali poem by uh, kajli soren uh, and this is his pen name and uh, his uh, given name is jagannath shoren uh, the name of the poem is ara baha or the red flower muru bahado ara gya madar joba ar ama maya amdo manni men e bachao ta mone tulo jokhai madar jobam tulo muru toba men khan ona ho ara मनमिया मंगल मुलिन चंपा गाड़े छाड़ लेना बहा मोज के आरा मायांगली trying to put it together so i'm not reading the bangla translation i'm reading the english one uh, uh, which i did uh, quite a few years ago the red flower the flame of the forest is red so is the coral hibiscus and your blood too your eyes makes the distinction you love the coral and the hibiscus not the flame of the forest though it is red still the one who tastes its nectar does not choose 
Who can say which nectar is sweeter? Who do I ask? Or do I ask at all? The red star shines brightly. It is the eyes that cannot fathom the vision. The river carries water or blood. The fire in my heart burns life to ashes. My chest breaks, releases warm breaths. Warm kisses burn my dejected face. The flower bloomed in Chaigar Champagar. Lovely grizzling red flower. Blood had flown down the river. You search the greatest in humanity. You love the coral and the hibiscus, not the flame of the forest. Uh, so I end the poem here, uh, but a little background I would like to share that uh, people have, uh, mostly Adivasi people uh, in central India, uh, think Jaigar Champagar to be a place of peace and tranquility uh, that was there in the past. And people have been driven forcefully, migration had happened uh, multiple times for different reasons per se, either it for uh, tea plantation or it's for a better life or quote unquote development. And it still is going on. And uh, I'm sure most of us are aware of it, but the question still lies, what are we doing about it? Are there voices being heard? Is the Adigasi voices heard at all? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Rahi. And we now come to the final presentation. Uh, we go on to Mizo, which is represented by Reni Lulam. Reni is also from Jadupur. Reni is a PhD scholar affiliated to the Department of Comparative Literature in Jadupur University. Reni, please. Uh, so, the, can you hear me? Yes, Hi, Reni, we can hear you. Yeah, okay. Because, uh, wait, just a second. I'm just going to do this. Yeah. Um, this particular song that I've chosen, I can't sing it, so I'm not going to be singing it, but I will read it out because it is by a, a lyricist, a poet, and a songwriter. Um, and I have chosen this particular song because of the situation that we find ourselves in as Indigenous people. Um, as um, small communities, especially in Northeast India, and what's happening at our borders, and our own histories of uh, repression by the state. Uh, so this song was written by somebody called Purukunga. He's one of the, uh, he is uh, regarded as the poet laureate of the Mizos. And uh, he wrote this during the, at the height of uh, the Indian Army operations against the insurgents in Mizoram. Uh, it was a very bright, violent and brutal operation. And uh, I mean, there was, I mean, ideas of freedom and uh, independence clashed. And it was a very violent time. And this song basically is um, an appeal to a higher power. And this was also during the time that um, you know, um, there were um, attempts were made at brokering peace between leaders, things like that. So this is something that uh, he composed. So I'm going to read it in Mizo. And since I can't sing it, I have an audio of it's a it's a soaring anthemic thing, and it's a song, and it's been um, adopted as the Mizo anthem, so the Mizo state anthem, and. I, like I was saying, I particularly want to read this out today because of the situation that we find ourselves in and also because I realize that this definitely this song definitely seems to represent or not represent, reflect a lot of um, indigenous sensibilities when um, met with the uh, oppression, you know, and uh, this the peace accord between um, the Mizos and uh, the Indian government was signed in two, in 1986. And on signing the peace accord, what happened was um, the, the, the peace accord was immediately rendered into, um, you know, the narrative was immediately, um, 
you know, taken over and uh, rendered into a triumphalist one of uh, victor and vanquished by binary. But for the Mizos, it was basically, it was not necessarily about defeat or surrender as much as it was a complex agreement for peace to prevail. And, and um, they have said, and they obviously said that they would never rebel again, and they never have. Um, so what I want to do is, I'm just going to read the Mizos, the Mizo version of this. I'm sorry, I just need to open it. Yeah, and then I'm 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 going to see if I can play the song for you, uh, sung by a choir, by the YMA. Okay. O nang kanlal kan patyan, imming ropey berse, ima a kan lokun yan, kan deal ngay ka amte. Kan omdan to ngay to ala, mikuy kan in common, fin na ropey min pela, roman real sa kamte. Now this is a verse, in this verse, he appeals to a higher power, to God, and he says, as we, as we, uh, as we try to negotiate how to be within these in these times, give us wisdom, and be our defense. If in nalle itaina, ishwai na lo rengin, ropei na le la chutleng, anral le si chin, nang ero tu chatuanin nam tin tan kulpei hit, lalber te lalber zan, roman rail sa kang te. Your wisdom, and your without your wisdom and without your leading, all grandness, all, all glory, and all um greatness just disappears but you are the wisdom of are the wisdom are the is the you are the wisdom above all wisdom you are the fortress um, and and king of kings and you be our defense tu wangin o kan pathyan he he kan dil berte kan ram kan nam min shwayan nang chok kan thang berte Tung lam le pon lam mel ma in do na thing ma se ne zel tu rin min pui la rau min rel sa kang ze. So therefore, or tu wang in, and because of this God or Lord, this is what we pray for, this is what we ask for. For you to guide us, our land and our people, and you be the only choice we make, from enemies and wars within and without, always guide us beyond that and be our defense. And that's how it ends. So basically, the song is the song is um, a subversion of any um, narrative of war that you might um, your understanding of war and strife. You know, basically, it is about peace and about wisdom and uh, this is a song this song is um interesting because uh remember during the during the pandemic in the beginning of the lockdown and everything uh we were all asked to can you hear me am i audible yes Rani, we can yeah, hear you yeah so during uh, during the pandemic, we were asked uh, last April, last at some point of time, we were asked to bang plates, you know, sing songs, clap hands, bang plates. This was the song. This and Hallelujah chorus from Handel's Messiah were the songs that reson were that resounded across Mizoram. They did not bang plates. They did not, you know, every locality set up their uh, locality sound systems. And this was the song that they sang across Mizoram. And this continues to be uh, uh, the song that they would sing at, um, at festivals, at uh, uh, June 31st is Rimnani, basically the day uh, the peace accord was signed. Uh, so that's the anniversary of, uh, they called it Rimnani Day of Peace. This is the first song that they sing. And since I cannot sing it, I'm going to try and I, I think I have a recording of it somewhere. Does anybody want to listen to it? Do we have time? It's just a two minute track. If you want yes, to Yes, Rennie, sure, sure, sure. 
yeah, if you do, let me try try and get this. Once you hear it, you understand why I cannot sing it. It's it's okay. Let me do this. Let me find this. Yeah, there we go. Let me try this. Thank you very much, uh, Reni. I think we have come to the end of the presentations and it's been a fascinating evening. Uh, before we formally wind up, Indrunil, apni ki kichu shankhe pe bolven? Mute, mute acho. जदवपुर सेंटर फर ट्रांसलेन स्टाडी ट्रांसलेन अफ इंडियन लैंगुएजेस सेंटिल संगे संगे सी एल ए आई कम्पैरेटिव लिटरेचर एसोसिएशन अफ इंडिया जौथ उद्योगे कम्यूनिटी neighboring countries as well when we began our 
work of the People's Linguistic Survey of India way back in uh, 2010, early 2010, we could uh, discover okay, the, the great diversity, you know, the enormous diversity of languages, you know, of cultures, of belief systems, okay, even in our own state, you know, West Bengal. And uh, we realized that you know, all these communities all these indigenous communities are really, in a way, you know, stateless. They go beyond state. There is you know, a wonderfully, you know, mutually you know, complementary network of connectivity which uh, these indigenous communities share in all the states, in all the countries. In fact, when we worked in West Bengal, we found that most of them have their footprints in the neighboring states of Odisha, Jharkhand, Bihar, Assam, eh, Sikkim, eh, and also in the neighboring countries of Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. So it was a wonderful you know, network of ever-expanding you know, idea of fraternity, a, a wonderful, you know, bonding of languages, of cultures, of belief systems. So today we have found some glimpses of this diversity, of this plurality of expressions. And uh, I hope that the community people, you know, the scholars, the poets, performers, have been very happy you know to represent okay, their culture you know their literature you know, in this forum okay. and i hope that uh, the proceedings of you know this uh, literary meet okay, would definitely be used to you know inspire you know people okay, researchers scholars okay, who have been working in the field of you know, indigenous studies, particularly indigenous languages, you know, indigenous literature, you know, and indigenous cultures. So uh, we have been trying our best you know, to make eloquent the silenced cultures. And this is a wonderful platform, a wonderful initiative, you know, by the indigenous people, because, because we can see how you know, the two, you know, fantastic, you know, performers, you know, poets and scholars from the tribal communities in the Jadapur University itself they have shown that, you know, initiative to organize this program. Of course, under the able leadership of Dr. Shantan Dashgupta, but it's a, it's a very, you know, fascinating thing to know that, you know, people from the indigenous communities are coming forward. You know, they are taking the lead you know, to represent themselves, okay, to make the uh, larger world you know, know okay, how rich, how diverse, okay, and how knowledgeable you know, the indigenous community people are. And we should return to nature in the sense or in the way okay, the community people, the indigenous people, you know, look at nature, view nature, respect nature, worship nature, and explore different facets of nature. Okay, so with these few words, okay, I once again thank Dr. Shantan Das Gupta, all the organizers of this program, and all the you know indigenous community members, and of course, you know, Professor Chandra Mohan okay, from CLAI, okay, and Professor Evi Ramakrishnan, okay, and other you know, scholars okay, who have been present in this meeting and who have been listening to the performances by the indigenous community. Thank you very much, Shanti. Thank you, Indranil. This has been collaborative at various, various levels. As Indranil was saying, all of us uh, have contributed in our own ways to this. And uh, 
know, it was a very learning, educative experience for me personally to just listen to these sounds resonating across this meeting and listening to the details of these songs, of these languages, of these texts. I hope we shall have many more such sessions. And uh, thank you to everyone. One person I would just like to mention, especially right at the end, is um, a research scholar, PhD research scholar in the Department of Comparative Literature, Jadavpur University, who has actually been working uh, behind the scenes throughout this session. Boshu, thank you very much, Tiash. With that, we bring this session. Thank you, Shan. Thank you, Tiash. Thank you. Thank you. With that, we bring this session to an end. Don't know what. Hum apna dialogue kar sakte. <laughs>